Lost media is one of the most fascinating genres of content that has become popular as of late. As people document the searches for old TV shows and movies, I feel like one very important genre of lost media gets cast to the wayside, that being lost music. Artists can make thousands of songs and projects that never see the light of day, but there's been a small digital community of people that have been searching and archiving old lost songs that would have never been heard if it wasn't for them. And one of these projects that have resurfaced online as of late was Balloonerism by Mac Miller. If you don't know who Mac Miller is, he was one of the most influential musicians of the 2010s with his early works like Blue Side Park and Best Day Ever being widely popular and his success wouldn't stop as he got later into his career as he matured into a much more adult, melancholic feel from the childlike innocence and happiness that was found in his earlier projects. Throughout his musical career, Mac had been adamant and upfront about using hard drugs and he even talked about his want to go to rehab and get sober in multiple songs and interviews. But before he could get help, his addiction was about disaster when in late 2018, he bought drugs cut with fentanyl, causing him to overdose. This left his fans in utter shock with many publicly mourning his loss, and after two years of grieving, his estate released his sixth and final studio album, Circles, on January 17th, 2020, which was a companion piece to his prior album, Swimming. His fans began to think that they might never hear another Mac Miller project, which would have most likely been true if it wasn't for the now-defunct forum, Leak This. If you don't know what Leak This is, Leak This was a musical lost media forum which censored around discussion and posting of lost media, but unfortunately the site has since shut down. On February 26, 2020, a user of the forum with the alias Fish Alien posted a song by Mac Miller called Do You Have a Destination. Along with the song, they posted the caption, unreleased song off an album that should have been released before Faces. I hope you enjoy. When forum users downloaded the files, they quickly learned the song was the third track on an album being called Balloonerism by looking at the metadata. This mystified Mac fans on the site, who asked a barrage of questions to Fish Alien, who responded with, With leaks come questions, I will answer a few that may be running through the minds of our brains. This song comes from a full album done by Mac himself, and I truly don't know for sure when it would have been released. What I imagine is it should have been between Live From Space and Faces. This is based on Uber being on the album without the feature from Mike Jones. Also, Colors and Shapes is on the album as well. I know most people will be wondering if I will leak any more of the songs, and honestly, I'm not sure. I've already had this for over a year and it took so long for me to release one. Please don't be mad or upset. Personally, I have had mixed feelings on releasing something that isn't my work. Yes, Mac wanted the entire world to hear his music. He even asked Q to release all his work if he passed on. Mac and the most dope fam. I just want to respect his family for one and also respect him. I hope you all understand, and I hope this song at least is enough for all of your hearts now. Love to all of you. After posting this message, in the following days, Fish Alien would leak four more songs. The song that changed everything, which was track two featuring SZA, Stoned, which was track five, He Finally Sleeps, which was track 11, and the original version of Uber, which doesn't include a feature, which was intended to be track 13. All of them having balloonerism as the metadata. After the three-day leaking spree, Fish Alien was banned from Leak This, and when the mod team was asked why, they revealed that Fish Alien had actually been an alt account, which the site has a strict policy against. After a couple hours of waiting to see if the person behind Fish Alien would return with a new account, a different account with an all-caps name called the Novice Space Traveler leaked the 15th song on the album called Tomorrow Will Never Know. Along with the song, they left the message that they'll be at work and won't be active for a bit. A day later, they posted Transformations, which was the 12th track, and it heavily featured Max alter ego Delusional Thomas. And this time, they left the message, Have a good night, lovely humans. Might hide away and take some time to think, but I will be back when my heart is okay. Love to all. In the same all cap style that Fish Alien used for their messages. And with that, the leaks from Balloonerism slowed to a halt with Novice Space Traveler becoming completely inactive. Almost a month after the last leak from Balloonerism happened, an account called Colors and Shapes was made and posted the sixth track on the album, being the original version of Colors and Shapes. Despite not being Novice Space Traveler, they had revealed that Novice Space Traveler had given them the song, and soon the account was banned from being an alt yet again, and leaks slowed to a halt. That was until May 11th, the last day the Novice Space Traveler account would be seen and it was said that they posted five threads in rapid succession featuring the 1st, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th songs from the album. Then, they deleted the threads along with the account never to be seen again. Later that day, a new account named Fish Space Alien, not to be confused with the original Alt the Leaker, appeared and posted the 14th track on the album, the original version of Smile, and that was it for the balloonerism leaks for the rest of May. The fourth song, 
Miss Deborah Downer got leaked mid-June after someone tried to sell it on the Dancing Monkey site. And the last leak happened on July 30th, 2020, four months after the first leak from Balloonism. The journey was finally over with the last track on the album finally being leaked. The song was called Bob's Dementia featuring Haji Beats and Captain Murphy and was leaked by Bizlo and it was the final song on the leaked track list. As the album was made during the same time as its successor, Faces, it carries over most of the general themes from the album. But instead of the psychedelic feel of Faces, Balloonism has a much more sad and somber feel, with slower, more drawn out songs covering darker subject matter. But before that, if you're enjoying the video so far, please like and subscribe for more musical lost media content. Thank you, and now back to the video. A sense of loss seems to cloud a majority of the album, from reminiscing about the loss of childhood innocence on the song Excelsior, or on the song Funny Papers, where Max sings about a man who killed himself while listening to his wedding song after a brutal divorce. The album also seems to have a fixation on drugs, with many of the songs having references to illicit substances, from cocaine being used to fuel a sleepless drive on the scissor assisted track, the song that changed everything, to Mac wondering which drug he might overdose from on He Finally Sleeps. To lend more credence to the album, one of Mac Miller's close friends, DJ Clockwork, confirmed the existence of Balloonerism and played the song Dollar Pony Rides, which was made during the sessions of the album. Another interesting piece of info relating to the album is that it is known at some point Mac commissioned a painting of himself as a balloon. It's not 100% confirmed to be related to this album, but nonetheless, it's a very interesting correlation. Balloonerism is a mix of depressingly beautiful chaos with amazing songs and features scattered across the 16 tracks. The album is one of my favorite projects from Mac and I'd recommend checking it out if you enjoy his music at all. It's runtime being just over an hour. I'll leave my sources document below if anyone wants to hear the album. That's where this story ends. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.